Hello there, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Thursday, August the 26th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. I do appreciate it. If you'd like a personal reading, please message me. How are you tonight, Virgo? I hope you are taking care of yourself and people around you and vice versa. And I hope you know you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Let's cut in the deck for a Virgo spirit. The star, Aquarius energy. Here's that star that's shining inside of you. Star in the sky. Her beautiful headdress. Love it. The star, the wish card, the angel card. The star. What is crossing this? The queen of pentacles, the queen of money. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is ground balance stable, a business person, makes their own money, independent, knows how to take care of their money, the Queen of Pentacles. What is consciously known about this situation? The King of Pentacles. Power couple. Pentacles are Earth Energy again, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, the King of Money, ground balance stable, business person, makes good money, knows how to take care of this their money. King and Queen of Pentacles, power couple. What is unconsciously known? Three of Swords. Someone broke your heart. Swords are air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a broken heart. It's two swords in his back. And one sword on the ground. Recent past, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This can mean there's equal give and take in a relationship. And if it's the Queen and King of Pentacles, then there would be equal give and take. Sometimes this shows up when there are not, there is not equal give and take. So let's see what else is in my spread. Near future, the Seven of Swords, sneaky. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is toxic. This person is narcissistic. I don't like this person at all. Um, <clears throat> liar, cheater, thief, narcissist. Seven of Swords. Do not entertain this person in your life. You are, you are warned. That's your warning right there. Where do you find yourself? Ten Pentacles. Money, money, money. Absolute abundance in money. There's the house, property, money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. External influences, the Empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy. The Empress, Divine Feminine. She is sitting in her throne. She's sitting in her power. Um, she knows her worth. She doesn't get out of her throne for just anybody. She's always birthing new ideas. She's kind of like the Queen of Pentacles. Very independent. And she knows her worth. She's... She is the Empress, hopes and or fears, Two of Cups, Two of Love. I like the water spilling from this cup into this, into her cup. The two hearts, Two of Love, Two of Cups are water in it, Can't Spice Scorpio, Two of Love, the Lovers, True Love. Overall outcome, Ten Cups. Ten Cups. Ten Cups is showing up a lot tonight. Cups are water energy. Can't spice Scorpio. Ten Cups. Ultimate abundance and love. 
We got money. We got love. We got the star, Virgo. Nine of cups. Nine of cups. Self-love, self-worth, self-esteem. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The nine of cups means that you are single because you deserve great things. And we got power of couple, king and queen, the pentacles. We've got the empress. We've got the two of cups. We got the ten of cups. We got the nine of cups. Yeah, this has nothing to do with this person. That has nothing. This isn't the rest of the read has nothing to do with that person. The oh my, but maybe that person is the one who broke your heart, but leave them in the past. Ace of Swords. This is new honest communication. Swords are air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. New important communication. Three of Pentacles. Work. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Three of Pentacles. He's watering his skulls. This can be a work situation. Um, this could be like a, a, a job you're doing, a partnership with other people. Or this could be um, working on a relationship with another person. Page of Pentacles. Messages about money. Pages, of mess pages are messengers. Pentacles are money. Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She's reaching in her purse. Wow, love and money, love and mummy. Oh, little warning right here for pentacles. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Save more than you spend. Save more than you spend. Don't spend frivolously. This has shown up a lot tonight, too. Watch your money. All right, Virgo, love card. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Two of cups. Ten of cups. Nine of cups. Shuffle again. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. This is this is sneaky here. Sneaky here. This is not the person that you that is your lover. That's not the person that is your lover. Because you got King and Queen of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and King and Queen, Power Couple, Work, Message About Money, Lovers, Ultimate Love and Fulfillment, and Self-Esteem, plus the Star and the Empress. Oh, and Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles, ultimate abundance in money. All right. Love it. Love it. You got too many, almost too many good cards for me to, for me to write on. So, have a great night, Virgo. Love it for you. See ya. Bye.